That sounds like that Justin Timberlake song. <laughs> that was Creed with my own president here on Lincoln's New Rock Alternative. But now we turn our heads and ears to Mr. Pete Moxley for Poophead of the Week. <laughs> The views and opinions expressed by Pete Moxley and Poopette of the Week do not represent the views of the Stafford EJs of 89 at WLNX FM. Any complaints of vulgarity directed at the speaker will result in pending litigation in a federal court and a $200,000 fine or kidnapping of household kitty cat. You've been warned, Miss Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing after this slow news week that I could still crap up a poop head of ridiculous proportions. But what is ridiculous to you listeners could be disheartening to me. And the week probably isn't as slow as much as I've been all WTF-like since I chose my winner five nights ago. <laughs> Last Friday night, my girlfriend Heather and I went to Thornton's to get ice cream for our dessert following her spaghetti dinner. I felt shame spending three extra bucks in the budget for last week. For a certain well-liked and respected disc jockey was supposed to arrive with a surprise dessert to replenish oh, a superb din-din. <laughs> well, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> My one true acquaintance in Lincoln, invisible. Her car, dessert, daughter, hubby, all not there. <laughs> The last I remembered, the hubby was issuing a booty whooping to his forgetful girlfriend for hacking into his farm bill and to clear up some rumors, <laughs> trying to post a status update announcing his fake true love for the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> Bobby, if you're listening from this... <laughs> Bobby, if you're listening from this metrosexual dude to you drunk dude... From a woman being perspective, I, from a woman being perspective, I don't allow it. I wouldn't allow Facebook, of all things, Facebook, to make you think you can kick your girlies' assets. Facebook is crack for a broken back. My sister Erin is living proof of the side effects. She's a 52-year-old and an 82-year-old's body. But if your lady friend Bobby wants to change your loyalties from the Cardinals to the Cubs, make her pay, boy. At least Sasquatch had an okay reason to not show up, and he won the hearts of the ladies in the LC cafeteria for that one. <laughs> Me? I don't get a call or a text, and yes, I did send one of each. Was your Blackberry popping cherries, woman? I expected better from someone who once served in the military. But if there is one thing I know about dealing with military women, and my girlfriend's a Navy daughter herself, it's that the bars of sarcasm can be raised so high and the whims of expectation for excitement and food can be pushed very, very low. In the words of Joe Wilson, you lie! <laughs> DJ Springer, apologies <laughs> accepted, unless you don't bring the dessert. <laughs> Poophead of the week! Oh my God, really? <laughs> you just busted me out. I rendered speechless. We Absolutely. talked about this before you came in. Yes, and I listened, and I cleared up those rumors. <laughs> The unofficial celebrity roast of Springer mm. and the career suicide, might I add. Wow. Career suicide? Would I do suicide? No. Did you what, Did you listen to my excuse? <laughs> what kind of an excuse was that? <clears throat> Sorry didn't have a nap that day. I was not bringing my devilish child over to your family dinner for the first appearance. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she would have eaten everybody up. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> All the spaghetti's gone, by the way. I don't think you would yeah, appreciate go? leftovers, though. No, I don't want any of your leftovers for yeah. somebody that orders chicken strips at the time. She was restaurant. talking to you, Heather. How dare you? <laughs> I want a full-size zebra cake. Oh, my God. Speaking of zebra cakes... <laughs> Hold on to that. No! Get back to this. No, John. I'm still rendered speechless. And all I can say is coming up next, Kings and Queens. Oh, you got me in trouble, Pete. 89X, rock.